Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Archimedean property of the real numbers. The Archimedean property of R asserts the following. It says given A and B real numbers with A greater than zero, there is an N natural number such that a times n is bigger than b. Again, this is to be fairly straightforward intuitively, but let's prove it using the least upper bound property. So the proof goes as follows. Let's consider, consider the set a, which is the set of all a times n such that n is a natural number. If this was false, if the statement was false, we would have that a times n less than or equal to b for all n. Which would say this that a is bounded, and a is clearly not empty, but you can take n equals 1, that's just a, and a exists, so a is not empty. So by the least upper bound property, least upper bound property, soup a exists. Soup A exists. Let alpha be the soup of A. Now, since A, by the approximation property for spoons, by approximation property, by the soup approximation property, there is an M and N such that the supremum alpha minus a positive quantity, in this case A is our positive quantity, alpha minus A, is less than what? Is less than A times M for this M, A times M. But this, of course, is equivalent to saying that alpha is less than A M plus A, which is A times M plus 1. And M plus 1 is, of course, an N. And that contradicts the fact that alpha is the supremum. So we have the Archimedean property. Now, the Archimedean property is very, very useful in a wide variety of different contexts. It seems very, very straightforward. But let me give you one illustration of where it comes into play to pr actually rigorously prove something. So here's an example of applying the Archimedean property. Let's show that the infimum of the set 1 over n, such that n is an n is equal to zero. So what we can do is let's suppose, so clearly the infimum exists, so let's call alpha the infimum of the set 1 over n such that n is an n. And let's suppose that alpha is greater than zero. Well, if alpha is greater than zero by, Archimedean pro by the Archimedean property, if this is so, Then there is an n in n such that n times alpha is bigger than 1. So here I'm using Archimedean, the Archimedean principle with my a being alpha and my b being 1. And that would say what? That would say that alpha is bigger than 1 over n. But 1 over n is clearly in this set. This is, of course, bigger than 1 over n plus 1, for example, and that says that alpha cannot be the infimum. Hence, alpha is not the infimum. So our conclusion, therefore, is that alpha is what? Alpha is equal to 0. It can't be negative, because there's no negatives over here. Any negative can push a little bit beyond that. So that tells us that alpha equals 0. So the infimum of this set is equal to 0, as we know. So the Archimedean property gives us a way of efficiently finding infimums and supremums of sets. Thank you very much.